A tape came out yesterday of Eli Drinkwitz being wired for sound after they beat the brakes off Tennessee. So he gets to midfield and he says to Josh Heupel as they shake hands, shaking hands is probably even a generous term to put to it. He says, we stand on business, Josh. And I, I don't have an issue with what he said, but the delivery of what he said drew a lot of different reactions from across the college football social media landscape. And uh, we got to give you our thoughts on this as a whole right now. So to start with this, what does it mean to stand on business? It's a fair question. Essentially, what that is, it's a, it's a phrase that means we handle business. We stand on what we're doing here. We, we, we are basically standing on the result that we have here at Missouri. It's kind of Missouri's thing right now. Uh, it's essentially saying like, hey, we're about this. It's essentially saying we are about it. We're about the business that we're handling. So how do we feel about this? The way that we feel about trash talk on this show, and we've said it a couple times when it comes to Colorado and what they were doing and Oregon and that game. And like, we, we stand by the Ricky Bobby rule here when it comes to talking trash and talking trash in college football. Winners do what they want. That's the Ricky Bobby rule. If you win the football game, if you dominate the way that Missouri did against Tennessee, you can say we stand on business. We can say we're the big dog. We can say whatever we want if we're Eli Drinkwitz and we throttle Tennessee the way that we did. Like, I have no issue with that. And some people say, well, that's poor sportsmanship, J.D. No, it's not. It's college football. It is a highly competitive environment. These are all grown men playing this sport. I understand we got college students, but still, they're all adults. They all understand what they're doing here. And this wasn't just a one-sided beef, too. I mean, you remember back to last year, Josh Heupel punched one more score in the end zone there with 30 seconds left to go to make it a 66-point, uh, not victory, but they scored 66. I think it was 66 to 20-something. Like, Josh Heupel also has his fair share of, of this whole beef to be shared. I don't think the beef is bad either. Like, it's college football. It's what we love about this sport. The emotion, like all that's baked into this. So I don't have a problem that Eli Drinkwitz is talking his cash after they got back against Tennessee with them running it up last year. Like, it's fine. It's a part of it. It's not poor sportsmanship. It's Eli Drinkwitz saying, hey, we stand on what we're doing here. We stand on business. So I have no issue with the content of the message. I actually, I support the content of the message because Missouri, the way that they won that game, left no doubt. It wasn't a thing where Missouri caught a couple breaks. Like, if they played that game 10 times, Missouri's winning 9 or 10 of them. Just kind of the fact of the matter. I'm great with the content of the message. But the delivery of that message, if we're just going to be 100% honest on here, it was lame. It was a lame way to deliver that message. You can't say, we stand on business, and then say it under your breath, as you like lean away, don't give eye contact. Like it was a half a second handshake and that's fine. We knew it was going to be a half second handshake, but to not say that directly to Josh Heupel struck a kind of funny chord with me. And a lot of people, when we tweeted out our thoughts on that, we, you know, tweeted the video and said, you can't say you're standing on business and not really stand on business when you actually deliver that message. Say, well, what do you want him to do? You want him to swing? You, I mean, you want him to just square up and, and shove him? No, I don't want him to square up and do anything physical, but I do want us to have a message that matches the delivery of the message. Standing on business saying, hey, we're about it. Okay, let's be about it then when we're delivering that trash talk. And also when it comes to trash talk, like half the fun, half of the tr talking trash is watching your opponent's reaction. Like I would so much rather have seen Eli Drinkwood say, we stand on business, Josh. Shake the hand. Let's hold the handshake, too, and make sure that we heard what, what was said if we're Josh Heupel. And then we'll go back to our sideline and we'll let what transpires after that transpire. You just dominated this game. Let's talk trash like we dominated this game. Don't do the whole under the breath, like sort of peel away as we shake the hand. That just looks lame. It is lame. And you want to know why I think this is lame is because I promise I shouldn't say I promise. I have a very, very strong feeling that Josh Heupel heard what Eli Drinkwitz said the same time as the rest of us did. Like based on the reaction, based on like that moment, it was such a bang, bang moment where like, I don't even think Josh Heupel heard what Eli Drinkwitz said, which again, kind of takes away from the talking trash element of what Eli Drinkwitz was saying. So again, if, if we're Eli Drinkwitz, I don't want to just be totally down on this whole situation because you dominated that football game. My thought here is let's watch some tape now on the talking trash side of things. Let's get better. Let's learn from this. And I mean, to be clear, they dominated Tennessee. Winners do what they want. Let's watch the tape. Let's get better. And let's, uh, let's be a little bit more 
on our P's and Q's next time we talk trash. Because I don't think this rivalry, whether, whether they play in several years, whether they play in two years, like whenever these guys match up again, if it's next year, it's next year. Like whenever they play again, there will be a, another volume to this rivalry. And I love it. I'm all about it. But when we stand on business, let's stand on business in the way that we talk trash to would be my one thought there. But again, the Ricky Bobby rule, man. Winners do what they want. HelloFresh is bringing y'all the hard count today. And HelloFresh, what is HelloFresh? You get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You don't got to do the whole thing where you, you drive down the street to the grocery store and you sort through, you know, if they have what you need or they don't have what you need. Skip all that HelloFresh. Make it easy. Again, right to your doorstep. And uh, they make home cooking easy and fun, affordable. And that's why it is America's number one meal kit. Crazy schedule, right? We all got it during college football season. The fall, you got the holidays coming up. You probably have things going on with, you know, getting to family functions. And so it's difficult to make sure that we get the groceries that we want to. And sometimes you settle for bland and kind of the same thing over and over again. That chicken and rice recipe that you've made for the last three days in a row. Listen, I've been there. HelloFresh. They have 40 recipes to choose from every single week. So there's always something delicious and new on the menu with them. Also, when you turn on HelloFresh Market for yummy add-ons, enjoy the season's limited time fall flavors lineup. All right, so you're not gonna you're not gonna have to deal with you know, just again, the blandness of what you're buying at the grocery store, you're able to go with the seasonal recipe they got going for you on their menu. Stuff like pork nachos, a little mini pumpkin cheesecake. I'm telling you, they'll get you right. And they'll get you also right from a seasonal standpoint, having food matching the time of year. So for me personally, this last, I guess it was a week ago or so, wife came home. She gets home from work after I do. I'm telling you, man, I was, I was husband of the year for having HelloFresh already ready, whipped up, ready to go. And she was impressed by like the meal that I made in itself. I believe it was a little pad thai for us. It tasted great. It was easy to make. And it was something new on the menu for us. And she really enjoyed it. So for all my husbands of the year or aspiring husbands of the year, HelloFresh, the way to get that done. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 50JD and use code 50JD for 50% off plus free shipping okay so go to hellofresh.com slash 50jd use code 50jd for 50 percent off plus free shipping all right america's number one meal kit gonna take care of you taking care of us taking care of the hard count lock in with hellofresh hey y'all thanks so much for watching subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of the hard count also be sure to check out other videos on the on three youtube channel